Hi, genius. Okay, so real quick, I'll talk about the theme of the retreat and what that meant. I'm really sore. So the theme was Halo. What does Halo represent? It represents divinity. What is the opposite of divinity? Horns. Who has horns? Animals. So what does that mean? Now we're going to talk about it. Chakra is energy centers, right? So the bottom three energy centers are your animalistic part of you, right? Sexual, digestive, and then energy, judging, ego, all that, right? These are your three energy centers that keeps you plugged into this hologram, this 3D reality, right? Then there's the door. What's the door? Your heart. Above heart is expansionist. So this is consuming energy centers. These expand your consciousness. As you push your energies up through this door of your heart, and they go into your expressive energy center, your pineal gland energy center, and then the top of your head, eight, and it just, right, makes you divine. All of a sudden, you can experience things that most people can't. You can see, hear, touch, feel things that most people can't. You can leave your body. Most people can't. Most people never experience life the way they, they, the way they could. Most people don't do the things that they're capable of. There's all, this, there's all this unrealized potential of people. It just stays dormant, literally. And then they die and become enlightened. You don't need to die to do that. So, halo is up here, right? Eight. Then the animal part, when we do breath works, there's different types. There's the box, or whatever. There's all kinds. There's Dr. Joe's breath, there's my breath uh, that, that I use. Um, so, but I'll talk more about that in my retreat uh, to, with people because there's three different sections of my retreat. Anyway, so the animal part, you want, to, you, want to, you want to release that energy. You want the base of your spine, right? That life force that you have. You want that energy to move up, right? uncoils, goes up to your brain. And all of a sudden, when the third eye is opened, and you go through different awakenings, enlightenment, whatever happens, different phases of it. Everybody has their own journey, right? And you're turning that animalistic part of you, and you're making it more divine, so you can experience life better, right? So that was a reminder for us to understand, and once that heart is open, once that energy goes into the heart, the only way it can go is up. You know. This journey is just so beautiful. And it just keeps getting more beautiful. That's why I started YouTube. I didn't plan to do YouTube. I was doing journaling for me, video journals. And then it turned into a community. And now I have a mysticalbeing.org website. I have an app. We're meditating. We have a coherence healing coming up in one hour. So that was the... Um, theme of the, of the retreat, Hela. Understanding the divine in you, becoming the divine in you, allowing yourself to ascend, allowing yourself to liberate, allowing yourself to become whole, allowing the healer within you to, to be unlocked, to come out and just heal you and heal others around you. Allowing yourself to become, to, to become 
that part of the collective that is allowing the entire collective to rise. You're truly changing the world by doing this work. You, you, you have no idea what a great service you're doing to the collective by doing this work. Philanthropy. And as a consequence, it's benefiting you. Changing your life for the better. In every which way. So trust yourself. Trust your higher self. Trust your heart. Give it your energy. Release yourself from the past traumas, guilt and shame and everything else. Release yourself from fears and anxieties of the future. Bring it on in the present moment and figure out what to do with it. Find out. You can surrender. You can just let the life unfold in front of you with this beautiful present moment energy, with an open heart, with focused awareness on the present moment. And watch how the life just unfolds in a magical ways. I lost my wife years ago. I'm a single dad of a seven-year-old beautiful daughter. I have a full-time career. I have a YouTube channel. I have a community. Up until just a few months ago, I was the vice president of my community um, here. So there's, and I was able to do all of that and still go to gym and cook and take care of my daughter and go on vacations, manage a community, learn, read books, meditate for hours a day. You can't tell me, not, you can't tell me anymore that you don't have time. You can't tell me anymore that healing is not possible through meditation. You can't tell us anymore that. Data says you can make stage four cancers disappear. Tumors disappear, autoimmune diseases, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, diabetes, paralyzed people get up from their chairs and they're pushing their wheelchairs, doing a walking meditation by the water. If you don't heal, you choose not to heal. Subconsciously, I don't care. Now, I know some, I just might upset people. If you are living in lack, it's your choice. I'm sorry, I know, this is a tough talk. If you don't feel whole, if your heart's not open, it's nobody's fault except you. It's your fault. It's your life. When you, when you, what is disease? What is a bad experience? It's distortion in the hologram. It's distortion in projection. Why? Because the information in your field is incoherent. When, why do we meditate? Why do we do coherence healing? That when, when we do coherence healing, when we meditate, what we're essentially doing is that we are making our incoherent information in the field, coherent. We're creating coherence in our field. Now, what happens when the information in the field is coherent? The projection is a higher quality projection. Projection of this hologram, projection of this, this reality is more coherent. It's, more, it's, it's, it's better, higher quality. More coherent the information, the higher the quality of hologram and life experiences and realities. So when we meditate and we create coherence in our field, disease disappears. There was Parkinson's and now there isn't. There was cancer and now it's gone. Instant, spontaneous remissions. Dr. Joe has a staff of all these He's working with all kinds of, you know, UCLA, San Diego, Harvard, Dr. Hamlin presented things. You can change your speech and it will change your vibration and it'll more create coherence in your field, which will then impact your projection, the hologram. Makes you divine. You overcome the animalistic part of you.
It makes you a better person. It makes you kind, patient. You wouldn't think of betraying anyone, cheating on people. Nothing. You will be so happy, so kind, so patient, so divine within you that people just being around you will feel so happy, so good to be around you. People will heal being around you. I have some examples of that. Not just those are stories for another video. But at, anyway, I'm obviously going on a different tangent here. That's enough for this one. I love you.